Hello everybody, how you doing today? It's Superfiend here. Welcome back to our Total War 3 Kingdoms playthrough as Sunsa in a world betrayed. We have ambushed an army from Li Li, led by Tufa Yan Shan, accompanied by Zhang Song and Lu Mao. And I did go ahead and look through their gear here. I got excited for a second because I saw this archer and I thought it might be the Jade Archer that we need to complete a set for one of our strategists, but it's just an Iron Archer. Uh, in any case, this is going to be a very close battle, possibly. Uh, it is an ambush, but we are going to turn on the night battle to give ourselves every possible edge here. And uh, we should be able to win. We should be able to win. They don't have a lot of cavalry. These look like either uh, Saber Cavalry I don't think they're Jean Sword Guard Cavalry. Uh, they got a few units of archers where if they put them in the back, we should be able to get into them with our Cav and our Generals and do some damage. Uh, we don't need to kill them. I don't think just chasing them off the field would be sufficient. Uh, they are very weak back here, so I think we are going to set up some units there. Uh, however, I'm going to put our G uh, kind of here. Guard mode off. All right, lots of goodies here. Uh, let's see. What 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 would we want to do with these guys? Uh, maybe shoot into the backs of the spear guards. Uh, Zhang Lao is going to charge into Lu Mao and just make short work of them. Lady Wu, and then Ling Tong. Ling Tong. Let's see. Uh, right over here. And then, let's see. I imagine that our axe units are going to get a little bit banged up. So I'm not too uh, too worried about that. Okay, here we go. Yeah, everyone's got their orders. They know what to do. Okay, so these guys down here are going to have a rough time. Okay, let's just stay on them for a little bit. Okay, that unit's starting to break. Okay, and keep it going that way. Get on there, please. Okay, yeah, we have absolutely crushed them. And our Axe Banner are actually uh, standing pretty strong here. Yeah, this unit should break. That is Jean Swordguard Cav. He looks like he has recovered. Okay, we don't have to kill Lu Mao. Let's stay on her. Okay, and then she's possibly unbreakable. Zhang Lao coming back. I love these little skirmishes, but I, I really hate how sometimes you get caught for an extra like three minutes just killing one tiny retinue. That part's a little frustrating. I mean, the rest of the army is out of here, right? Boom. Zhang Lao with a good charge. 
Tufa Yan Chan. Looks like she's going to go down with the ship. Ha! ha! <laughs> All right, cool. Nice way to uh, start the afternoon, huh? Uh, we did also, during the AI moves, we finally lost our fishing port in Donghai. Uh, we should be able to get it back relatively soon. We do have uh, Lady Sun is over there. She does have one of the armies we picked up from annexing vassals. Not a great army, but, you know, it's not entirely weak. Between those two forces together, off with her head. Uh, we should be able to recover anything that we lose over in that area. Um... You're awfully expensive. No, thank you. Let's ransom for the money, because we have good replenishment within our territory. And we should be able to follow up and run that army down. Kong Fang Jing. Heading south through uh, Chen. Okay. Boy, delegating that really did not slow them down at all. That's okay. Noble birth, Sun Yi. Sun Sa has a son. For some reason, I thought that was like the first one. Okay, so Sun Yi, cool. Uh, we're earning a thousand per turn, so can we lower our taxes now? Let's sort by public order. Plus six, plus five, plus six, plus two, zero, minus four at Jeanne, minus four. So we still have a few places where it's going down. Darn, it's just, it's too drastic. Okay, so we can't really lower it yet. We'll get there. We're going to get there. Zhao Lei. Oh, you're in big trouble. You got quite a bit of cav in here. And how strong are these armies? Liu Ye. No, you're just a general. For some reason, I thought he might have been the faction leader. Okay, so we have Lu Bu, right? Coming to hassle us. It might be time to send a spy. It might be time. We have a potential turncoat in Lu Bu's faction. Let's see. She's married. Uh, Hao Meng. Darn it. We would need a, a female spy. We already looked. We don't have any female spies. Uh, Xi Jun. Xi Jun. I wish it would uh, cause a death, killed in action. I wish it would tell you who, though. Unfortunate events. So Xi Jun, are you are you over here? Are you one of these? So a potential turncoat right here. Legendary. Let's let's pick them up. Lots of okay, they're all strategists. All the turncoats are strategists. What's going on with that? If we could get a female spy, we could maybe send them into a faction and they could get married in, but uh, this is a little rough. We're just not able to pick any of them up. All right, so this is going to cost us a pretty penny. All right, we got ourselves our first spy. Comes in with 75 cover. We're going to go ahead and build undercover network right off the bat. Uh, they have a plus one 
uh, to cover cost. How much are we earning per turn? 25. It's not really that much. Uh, but let's go ahead and build undercover network once more. Okay. So next turn, he's going to be like 50, 48 or something. And that'll be pretty good. Are there any other potential turn codes in Lubu's faction? Just out of curiosity. Sachi of Song, Xin Anting, Li Li, Wei Shan Yu, Zhang Ba. No. Okay, so I don't care for right now. Runan, small city is done. Did we get the no? Oh wow. We were gonna have a rebellion and now now it's gone. Uh maybe because these armies were raiding? I don't know. Uh but let's see, what does this do? Yeah, it's not bad. We need to get our garrison building up there. Uh, we should be able to run this army down. Oh yeah, here we go. Now who are you? Sao Ling. Oh, you were a potential turncoat. I kind of feel bad doing this to you. Lady Mai wiped out one of the smaller armies that they had last episode. And then with our obscene movement range has managed to catch up to this army and do the same. I'm going to take the ransom. Another skill point in here for Hua Xuan. I'll pick up uh, precision. Okay. So where where do we think he's gonna go? Ding Yi and Zhu Han. Ding Yi and Zhu Han. Are they are they in here? No. Oh, you're gonna be a problem. You are gonna be a problem. I need I need a better army to deal with him. Uh, does she have reach? She does not have reach. Armor for all spear infantry enables scare. I think we're gonna get that. Lord of Fire. I do not have a champion's leather. Darn. Uh, expertise and instinct. Well, the heirloom spear is better. Um, sure, we'll give him the instinct. Expertise and resolve is looking good. Minus 25% fatigue rate, own army. That's also really good. Uh, and it's instinct and authority. So that would be better off on Lady Wu. But then he can have expertise and resolve. Zhang Lao, uh, we're missing an item in here for you. Uh, let's see. Is he part of the court? He is. So if we just give him like this, I mean, it doesn't have to be anything super fancy. Uh, I'm going to give him the eavesdropper. Protect us from spies just a little bit. And then Lady Wu. Uh, gorilla deployment. Range for crossbows. White horse raiders. I got 200 range. Uh, no missile block chance whatsoever. Cataphracts, Raider Cav.
what do we have access to in here? She can get crossbowmen and defenders. Protectors of Heaven, 200 upkeep per turn. Uh, we don't really have any good answers to this army right now. And I think they're going to go ahead and go after the Jade Mine. Which we have lots of cavalry in the Jade Mine. Uh, so looking back in here again. We might want some crossbows. So we have armor piercing damage, own army, uh, fire arrows. That's not going to help our crossbows. Okay, win commanding and then own army. Charge negate own retinue. Armor piercing damage, own army. So we got two of those across these characters so far. I'm just trying to figure, I want to recruit some units here. I'm just trying to figure out uh, who really needs them. Uh, well, I think he's going to become the commander because he's got the reach. He's got the increased movement range. Can he have, can he get crossbows? He does not have access to crossbows. Heavy G infantry. They got very bad missile block chance. And he cannot have any of the Defenders of the Earth. Okay, so I want to get a unit of Defenders of the Earth and then some crossbows. So she's going to get the crossbows. At least that much I know. And uh, do I want to run them down or do I think it's more important to... I think it's more important to get back this way. So... Uh, let's get into the Jade Mine. Okay. Uh, let's come back in a moment. But we need to recruit up there. Okay. Uh, right here. Uh, we got one more turn for our Imperial Lancer Cav. Now this is a livestock farm. So it's going to have a garrison, but it doesn't have any towers. So we should be able to tear them apart pretty easily, right? I think so. And we're going to come over here and get the rice patty. We are fully replenished. Okay, good. I just want to auto-resolve this. I don't want to have to actually fight it. The rice patty maps are really tedious. Really tedious. A treasure! Ooh, plus 500. Yay. Yippee. And Sunsa is here. They're going to take attrition in one turn. We'll go ahead. We'll continue the siege. I think. Uh, it's a tough call. I mean... Do we got fire arrows? Nah, we don't have fire arrows. Fan, how close are you to leveling up? 
You're a ways off. We uh, we need to share expertise again. So we'll just keep that siege. She hasn't moved out, so I'm not I'm not worried about her there. Uh, I think Lady Sun is going to do more damage as an ambushing army. Uh, so let's see. But Lady Sun um, would have to attack to initiate straight away. And who are you? You're a Duchy of Zhang. And then you're Lu Bu, and you're Zhang Jai. And you're Gong Soon Kong. So these are all separate factions. So they're not going to coordinate their attacks, I don't think. Neither will she. Um <laughs> Okay, so they want to they want us to go through this way. I thought I had him selected. That's weird. Um I'm going to encamp with her, and he's the lead force here ambushing. So I don't know. Maybe they'll try to come up and attack her or something. Maybe it'll script their movement that they can see that she's sitting there. We'll see. But we're just going to wait one turn there. And then Sai He. Ah, we sent people off to lower construction costs, but I want to spend the money recruiting Let's see. Okay, coming back to here. Coming back to here. Okay, I'm thinking two crossbow units. Uh, she can also have defenders. All right. That's as, that's as close as I'm getting that. One turn until everything's fully replenished. Okay, she's moved. Everybody's pretty much moved, right? Yep. Okay. Kind of a quick turn. Kind of a quick turn. All right. We got some more Duchy of Song armies. And it looks like their desire is Nanyang the city. Where is she going? The Toolmaker? Duchy of Song, Commander of the Vessel, Gong, Soon Kong, join a war. Got a couple of those. The coalition became a military alliance and a finest armor has been produced. A Master's Leather. And then we have an Officer. Now, um... Was it not the Master's Leather? No, it's the Champion's Leather. Darn. Uh, but this this army is fully replenished. Spy promoted to government. Xi Shun is a Grand Commandment. Let's go check this out. Not an administrator, though. Okay, not much we can do yet. Uh, we finished patrols in Runan and a lumberyard upgrade. Zhang Yan, Yu Yanqi, Tufa Bing, Gui Song, Xi Zhang, Zhang Zhe. 
Jiang Chin is fiery. Crap, I forgot to share expertise. God, that gets me like over and over and over again. That's that's kind of frustrating how easy it is to overlook that. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to come up and lay siege here. How you like that? We're going to choose the sapping option. Uh, will we be able to set up our ambush here? I don't know. Nah, because we're too close to the city. Okay, so she's right there. That's fine. She has not yet moved out. Okay, and part of the reason why I'm laying the sieges and not in a super giant hurry to move out is because, like, just capturing territory right now is not helping us because it's killing us with the corruption. Let me go ahead and run down this army here from Zhang Ba. Now uh, we've captured Cao Ling. I'm going to go ahead and release once more. Take the ransom. Okay. And our next threat over here is coming in towards the toolmaker, which I never I never intended to keep that. Remember earlier we tried to sell it to Win Shu. So we may try to sell it back again. You're at war with Duchy Azong, so very likely he's going to lose the farm here. Uh, we are on the wrong side. So if he comes in and he lays siege, how high is our reserves? Uh, nine turns. That'll give us enough time to come around and attack with the garrison. So uh, what I want to do is come out to here. Uh, we should be reinforcing. Let's see if he'll come down and attack the Jade Mine. Okay. Uh, they've just been hanging out in there for quite a while now. Oop. Are we at war with you? Apparently we are. It's slowly going down, but it's still very unfavorable to us. <laughs> Who are the factions that would accept peace? Duchy of Song, maybe. Yeah, it's not happening. Oh, yeah. And then let's just go in here really quick. Last last time I looked, it was like in the 80s. Now it's minus 79. And so it's going down and it's going to take a while, but it's getting there. Okay, so we may have a battle there. And I move through here. So apparently I can come through this way. Uh, can they move up through here? It looks like they can. So I think they're going to come up the mountain pass and go towards Badong. Uh, very slow movement, though. So here's what we're going to do. This is our territory. So we're going to take Sun Chuen and come all the way over to here and set up an ambush. Yeah, they're not going to give up their kingdoms. Okay, I think I think we're going to have a battle right there. Uh, you know, the other thing we can do, since we have a little bit of money and a little bit of income, is if we recruit... It's probably going to be one-turn recruitment.
I want to get another crossbowman with her. And maybe just spear guards here. Uh, the mercenary infantry are not that expensive either. Um, let's grab two units of spear guards. And we'll hold off on any remainder recruitment there. And then where do we have our assignments that are lowering construction costs? Because I do have a little bit of money. Uh, so we have Changsha. Is that the only one I picked? Yeah. So Changsha is right here with lowered construction cost. Uh, how much income from commerce total in here? Not very much. Uh, but we do have tea permanently. We have tea and copper. So I'm going to go up the, the right side there. And due to population, we can do one more upgrade. Okay. Janye. Uh, what would I build in here to get some income? Uh, you know what we're missing? Oh wow, we need uh, we need a garrison. Okay, that's what I'm gonna build there. Okay, I'm gonna wait like one or two more turns down there, and so I guess now we're gonna go after Jufu and get his livestock farm. Let's hope we're not gonna get ambushed along the way. Plenty of movement to get there. They outnumber us by nearly double. Wow. Okay, here we go. This is gonna be this is gonna be a big battle. This is gonna be a big one. I really hope I did not overestimate our chances here because if I did, then we're gonna have a big, weak, gaping hole in the center of our southern territory. Although we can recruit and replenish pretty quick, but okay, I hope I don't lose this. Okay, we have some impassable terrain right there, and also some over here. I'm gonna put the oil in there. And I'm going to put the, uh, you know, I'm just going to make a line of stakes in the back. Okay. Now they are going to want to wipe these out. Uh, I imagine they're going to push towards us. I hope they do. Okay, mini, mini infantry of Jing. What is their base block chance? 70%? Okay. We have a single unit of handmade guard. A unit of Jade Dragons. Lancer Cav. And then he himself is a sentinel. Uh, Jean my Jean, I'm going to put over here because I'm going to anticipate that they're going to flank with some units. And then our spear guard. I'm going to go right there. Okay. 
Okay, this is going to be a challenge. Holy cow. That is a lot of stuff. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Oh my god, they got so many missiles. So many missiles. Okay, and then we want to hit the infantry captains. Yeah. Okay. Now let's try to kite them straight back into our cavalry. Led by Huang Zhang. Boy, we are not doing like enough damage to this captain group. Okay, let's go for the heavily armored spears and yeah. Okay. Crossbows. Oh, they ran right into it. Okay, we charged in pretty good over here. Uh, I guess I lost a... Oh, wow. Okay, uh, get on him. Okay, we are doing bad over here. Yeah, everything over here is more or less uh, broken. Okay, our cav in the center are devastating. Let's get them over here, though. Okay, we need to shoot those. We need to get on this guy. Okay, charge in there. Yeah, we are starting to get the upper hand. We've lost our other uh, bolt thrower thingy. Uh, let's see. Shoot. Oh, I don't know. That. Uh, let's shoot over here. Got to get back with him. Uh, you know what? Just charge in. Uh, get over there. Okay, we're going to break all this now. Okay, he's broken. Get on that. Shoot that over there, please. Okay, 
Uh, our strategist is breaking. Get on this. Okay, he has shattered that. Okay. Stay on him. Jean, my Jean. Did he finally break this stuff? He did. Okay, let's bring him back down that way. I am confident that this is a victory. Okay, we got to start bringing some of this stuff back this way. Okay, that unit's breaking. Come on, get it over here. There we go. Okay, you run them off. You guys bring it back that way. I need a charge over here. More stuff is broken. Here he comes. Right into the back of the spear guard. Devastating charge. Okay, they're going to be gone. Stay on him. Jufu is going after our uh, our units here, but he's not going to have a good time with it. Huang Zhang is just coming through here now and collapsing everything one at a time. Okay, I did not overestimate my chances here. We have one. Although quite costly. Okay, everything in there just broke. Excellent. I think that is going to be the battle. The uh, crossbowmen back there broke as well. Boom. Massive battle. <laughs> that was fun. That was worth doing. Close victory. Close victory. So our elite cavalry, 579, 571. Wow. The handmade guard, 628. Huang Zhang, 556. Those four units killed 2,000 troops. Incredible. Incredible. Oh, oh, beautiful. Just beautiful. Faction succession. Zhu Fu has been succeeded by Wu Lan Fang. I love it. And Bei Dao and Huang Zhang are becoming friendly. So Zhang Yun needs to go somewhere else, right? He needs to go somewhere else. But... Outside of that, I mean, everybody's pretty happy. Everybody's pretty happy. And I think that's really all we can do right now. Right? We got some recruitment here, reinforcing. Uh, you know, the one thing I didn't think about was night battles. Uh, but we should be able to retreat well outside of their range. And we got a siege going on over here. Now, there are armies coming in 
on our eastern coast. I'm anticipating that after we take this, we can move back quickly enough to get rid of them. Uh, one last thing I'd like to try here before we end our turn is I would really like to give him the Toolmaker. I don't want it. Uh, last time he was not willing to give us a lot of, uh, a lot of money. Uh, now it looks like maybe we can get a quite quite a bit more. Uh, it's really not that much though. Uh, how's his food? Okay. So three, I don't know, eighty five per turn. And then we give him the tool maker. It helps him complete his commandery here, Yang Zhang, or what's it called? Yang Zhao. Yeah, I don't, I don't want it. I, I don't want it. Okay, so that'll make him happier. So now he's got the whole commandery here. Uh, if we can, well, he's got all of Chen, right? Chen is only three, yeah. So he's got all of Chen. So that's that's good for him. We don't have to worry about border gore. And then uh, he's got to defend it. And we could always, uh, if he loses it, take it back and then just sell it right back to him, uh, which would be fine with me to do that as well. Changsha, we are upgrading. Yep. Uh, I'm going to go ahead then and upgrade the lumber yard once more here. Looking at our income... It is industry and peasantry. Oh, and we have to share expertise. I can't forget to do that again. Uh, let's go ahead and build a marketplace to help get our income up. And then now we'll share expertise before I forget. Uh, what I really want to see is, uh, he's already eight income from peasantry faction wide. What I really need is just reduce, um, increased income that's what we really need okay chow chow she reduces character salaries okay Oh my god, Dutchie a song. He's got so many armies that are coming down. Oh boy. They have laid siege. Okay. And they are sallying forth to fight us. So when we come back in the next one, we'll be defending against Yu Jian. Probably wiping them out nearly entirely and taking their city. I hope to see you there. Let me know if you're enjoying this with comments or thumbs up. I'm enjoying it. Lots of fun as always. And again, I'm not recording too far ahead. So if you have any strategies, tips, tactics, suggestions, advice, anything you'd like to see happen, leave them as comments. I'll try to work them in as I can. And until the next time, you have yourself a good afternoon and take care.